Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from California is recognized for five minutes in support of his motion. Thank you. This is the final amendment to the bill, which will not kill the bill or send it back to committee. If adopted, the bill will immediately proceed to final passage as amended. Mr. Speaker, this final amendment says plainly, no U.S. business may do business with a country who has used cyber attacks to undermine a U.S. election. So if my colleagues are genuine in believing that Iran is a hopeless adversary, surely they will join me in believing that Russia, in its efforts to undermine our recent November election, should also be treated as such. This motion is really about the future of two U.S. adversaries, Iran and Russia. Iran, surely a bad actor over the last few decades, has finally in the last couple years come to the international table, struck an agreement with the United States and many of our allies to make sure that we take it from being a country that is three months away from having a nuclear weapon to one year away. They continue to sponsor terrorism across the world, but today, better than ever before, we have eyes, ears, checks and balances on them that we've never had. And by the way, we can address all of their bad behavior with them being much farther away from having a nuclear weapon than they were before the Iran nuclear agreement. Russia, however, continues to wreak chaos in the Middle East, supporting Syria and its brutal dictator Assad. Russia brought down a commercial airliner over Ukraine and has further incurred into Ukraine taking over Crimea. Russia continues to attack and escalate hostilities with U.S. personnel at our embassy in Moscow. Now, the standard bearer for the Republican Party, President-elect Trump, has chosen to embrace Russia and take the United States on a new tact. So the question today is, if you believe Iran is hopeless, then do you believe that we should also make sure no U.S. business does business with a country that's trying to undermine our elections. And I want to go through some of that evidence. On October 7th of this year, the Director of National Intelligence, Clapper, said that the intelligence community is confident, confident that the Russian government directed cyber attacks aimed at disrupting our November elections. Why would Russia do this? Russia clearly had a favored candidate in this race in President-elect Trump. Russia has been successful. This amendment says that you cannot do business with any country that is trying to influence our elections. This amendment says that if you think Iran is a bad actor, then you have to treat Iran the same way you treat Russia. This amendment says that if you think the U.S. should allow businesses to do business with a country trying to undermine our elections, to undermine the will of our constituents, then you should vote against this amendment. If you are with Russia, you should be against this motion. However, if you believe that we are closer to preventing Iran from having a nuclear weapon than we were a year ago, and if you believe that it's better for a U.S. manufacturer to provide airlines Air, commercial airline airliners to Iran and create U.S. jobs and have eyes and ears on what's going on over there, then you should be for this motion. But if you want our elections to be free and fair from outside influence, vote for this motion. If you want to stand with Russia, you should vote against this motion. So I ask my colleagues on the other side, are you going to embrace the new U.S. foreign policy that your standard bearer has proposed, that we are going to undermine and unravel the agreement that we have struck with Iran and march millions of young men and women back into the Middle East, an area where we have not had major combat operations finally for the first time in 15 years? Or do you think that we should treat Iran the same way that we're treating Russia? So I submit that to my colleagues, and I invite them to maybe engage on that question, because that's what this motion is about. Do you stand with Russia, or do you stand with preventing U.S. businesses from doing business with a country that our intelligence community has said has tried to undermine our elections? With that, I yield back. The gentleman yields.